Hi, everyone. It is such a pleasure for me to be here this morning with Tash. Tash, thank you so much for being on this call bright and early. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. What makes you excited about tutoring? Sure. Thank you so much. I've been a teacher for a very long time. Just prior to the pandemic, I couldn't do teaching anymore. I'd had enough. And so I had already started tutoring and I thought, well, I'll just lean on that. And then obviously we had the COVID pandemic and the whole space and the shape of education changed. That was one of the things I think was really great about COVID and the changes was that it made education accessible to a whole lot more people that possibly weren't in an educational space by working online. Um, I've had in my past experience at school, I've had students who found attending school very tricky. And I think this has just opened the the gates and you know the limitations and boundaries of what education was then have now changed and I think that's to an, an enormous advantage and I think that can only be a good thing as we progress. Indeed and massive kudos to you for being nominated for two awards uh, the Professional Tutor of the Year Award as well as the Special Needs Tutor of the Year. I'm sure it feels amazing. Tell us about your journey uh, getting to this point in your in your in your practice as a professional tutor. Thank you. So um, at school, I was always interested in, you know, following everyone and you've got a lot going on in those class groups because you've got um, different levels of ability. And I think for me, that I'm much more comfortable in a one to one setting that I can provide that really tailored approach. And especially with regards to the special educational needs students and what they require. So I learned about something called multi-sensory learning, it just offers learning across um, sort of m multiple modalities. So you can hear things, you can do things. You can... Well, it, there's some contention about whether people are visual learners or kinesthetic learners. I still maintain there's some great practice in delivering the lesson or the content um, in different ways, you know. So at the very least, it's repetition, which is great for learning. And it's a different experience to a textbook. Just as an example, I, I used to play netball. People run between eight and 10 kilometers in a game of netball. But if somebody said to me, come, let's go for even you know a five kilometer run, I wouldn't be interested. So if we can learn through lots of different ways and be distracted by you know, the fun of what's going on, we're gonna do much better for ourselves along the way. I love that analogy. Uh, you, you run five kilometers and you don't even realize you just did that because you were so busy playing. Exactly. I, and I can see how a great teacher would, would make that happen for a learner in a class. Very, very cool. You know, the TTA awards uh, voting process is one of the hardest things I've had to do because there's just so many outstanding people and chatting with you is going to make this process even harder. So please, please make this, this even harder for everyone. Tell us why we should vote for you. Look, I'd be really grateful if anybody's got any spare votes left at this stage. I was fortunate. I was recognized as primary tutor of the year in 2022 and secondary tutor of the year last year. So I, I have a level of high standards for myself that I think are worthy or of value. And I hope that, you know, everybody who's in the wards is doing as best as they can as well. Thank you for sharing that and, and uh, you know, thanks and kudos to you for your passion <laughs> and your expertise you bring to touch lives of students all over. Um, I, I'm sure there's a parent watching this video who is thinking, how do I get in touch with Tash? How, sh how should people reach out to you? What's the best way to connect with you? LinkedIn is fine. Uh, you can just find me under my name in LinkedIn. That's probably the best and most easiest way to get in touch. Uh, you can see a little bit of my work on LinkedIn. Occasionally I'll post some of my work there so people can see sort of the type and style of lessons I give as well. Terrific. Tash, always a pleasure. And uh, again, all the best. Hope uh, hope to see you soon at some point, maybe in Greece. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Have a great trip. I just hope it really goes well. Thank you so much, Tash.